Well, hey guys, and welcome to What's in Our Park Bag 2024. We're getting ready to go to Disney World, so we're gonna show you what we're packing. This could also work if you're going to Disneyland as well, so we're excited to show you what our essentials are to bring. And if you stumbled upon our channel, welcome. My name is Justin, this is Lacey. We do all kinds of Disney content. We also do other travels and also lifestyle vlogs. So if you would like to follow along with us, consider subscribing, we appreciate that, and like this video so more people can find this video. Yeah. Let's get started. Also, everything we talk about today, we will try to put a link in the description below and every purchase you make supports our channel. So we appreciate it ahead of time. Thank you. So before we start going into what we're packing, let's talk about the vessel as the you vessel. would call it. So everything that it's going to go into. So just to give you guys an idea, you can take whatever you want. Backpacks are great, sling bags, depending on how much or less you want to bring. But we're going to show you what we like to bring and what works for us. It, it usually kind of changes depending on, you know, mm -hmm. if we find a new bag or whatever. There's some days where I just don't take anything. Yeah. It's like midway in the trip where I'm like, I'm done. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. And I've taken diff just before like a crossbody bag if I just want like, you know, simple things like my phone and wallet. But I'm going to be bringing this backpack right here. It's a lounge fly up backpack. I love up. If um, you follow our channel, you might know that. But um, so it's got a cool pocket here actually that fits a good amount of stuff in there. It's got like side pockets. I got an air tag on there there too we'll talk about that later but it's got a good decent amount of room in here to fit everything I want and but it's also not like super heavy it's like lightweight so um, yeah so this is the size that I like to take in the parks for everything that I like to bring so if I was taking a backpack I would probably take my Patagonia backpack this is a tried-and-true bag I love this bag it's called the black hole it fits everything I'll need especially because we vlog these trips so yeah. having to put cameras and stuff like that that's why I'll do this. And if I wanted to go a little bit more lightweight, maybe going back in the evening or something, I would take my Tom Talk sling bag. I love this bag because it's big enough to fit like a small tripod or something mm -hmm. like that as well, but it's not super big yeah. at the same time. So really kind of any kind of sling bag. Uh, but this I love. I've traveled all over the world with this guy and it's perfect. So we don't have like any kind of order. This is just basically if we're just taking stuff out of the bag, yeah. this is what you would see. So the first one, Lacey's, I was like, Elsie, do you want to start with the first one? She's like, no, you do it. This one's called the blister patch. It's, you know, it's it's for blisters. Right. The blisties. <laughs> start off with the blisties. Start off with the blisties. Honestly, it like, happens. it happens, especially if, you know, your foot gets wet or something from like a ride and it's just rubbing the wrong way. It's nice to have these on hand because you don't want to ruin your day or have to go back early to fix the blisty. Because, mm -hmm. man, those things can get very painful. And we've all been there. Yeah. And you, you just know when someone has the blister right. because they're just walking a little funky. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, anyway, this this has helped quite a bit, and so we'll keep yeah. this in our bag. So pain reliever, we like to keep just like a little travel size of like Tylenol or ibuprofen. Maybe you've got like a headache, you know, if you're out in Florida in the sun, sometimes that happens with dehydration. So having that on hand is just nice. So you're not, you know, having to deal with that all day or try to find some of the parks we like to keep a little bit on hand. We have these amazing containers that we put all of our like pills or vitamins or whatever in. Mm -hmm. They're nice, fantastic. lightweight, easy to travel. Lightweight, easy mm -hmm. to pop, and they don't spill. It's they're great. Right. So a water bottle. I don't know about you guys. I don't like spending like eight dollars on a water bottle in the park. <laughs> it's probably not eight dollars. Well, it's, it's just funny. Whenever I <laughs> whenever I spend like five or six dollars on a yeah. water bottle, I'm always thinking of Costco. Like you can get the you know the, the what the. 35 or yeah. 45 pack of right. water bottles for like three bucks and I'm just like oh my it's gosh painful. one Dasani it's painful yeah, it is very painful. <laughs> so in the park we like to bring like collapsible water bottles so the ones we use are cool because when you're done you know drinking your water they can just fold up but then they're also even when it's full of water it doesn't take up a lot yeah, of it's space like a, it's like a silicone material or yeah. something like that so it's not like dropping a hydro flask yeah, or something like right. that you know or a huge stand <laughs> or something <laughs> yeah. so these ones are good for the park <laughs> next up we always have a tripod for our phone this tripod it's awesome because it has MagSafe technology, so it just kind of clips on the back of your phone. And if you want to get that shot with the family, or yeah. if you want to do a time lapse of the park, whatever, it's just a great lightweight piece of hardware. Also along the lines of propping up your phone, we mm -hmm. found these really cool cases on Amazon, mm -hmm. and it has this little guy that pops out here, this little ring, mm -hmm. and it's a 360 degree turn, but you can actually set, set it up landscape or portrait, you know, the kids need to watch a little show for dinner or whatnot. Um, yeah. But also it's like a little pop socket too, so yeah. you kind of hold your phone up as well. We've been loving these actually. Well, it's funny because you got one and then I was like, hmm, I really like that. <laughs> and so I was like, I want one and I'm absolutely loving it because a lot of my areas like that I charge my phone on, like 
the if you have like pop sockets that blocks it so it still can like it's magsafe oh, so yeah. it still charges That's on good there point. It's magsafe. But then, yeah yep. but then i still have that capability which i love just to like sit up or mm -hmm. pop up to take pictures or the kids want to watch a show i want to watch a show you know what i mean mm -hmm. so um these are these yeah are like right now we literally have our notes right now on mine yeah sitting uh, up sitting up yeah and it, yeah like lisa that is magsafe so it, it works with all your wireless charging yeah it works with my magsafe wallet mm -hmm. also my magsafe tripod that we we're just talking about it's probably like the newest Amazon purchase that we've been loving. And by the way, we do like Amazon like finds and stuff and this will probably be in the next one we yeah, do. Well. Next up is an external battery. So mm -hmm. I actually carry a pretty good size one for the whole family yeah. to charge, you know, everything. Because mm -hmm. especially with Disney, you just need your phones. Yeah. But also, we'll talk about this in a bit, are the Magic Bands, Magic Band Plus is actually, you actually need to recharge that as well now. So it's like, if for some reason it's not working, I have an external battery mm -hmm. to charge that as well but it does come in handy for sure. And I like to keep the fuel rods, they're smaller and I mean, I still feel like I need it with checking wait times or just, you know, during, doing different things as far as the part goes with my phone. I feel like with you, you do a lot more with the vlogging on the camera, so it's nice. But the fuel rod does, like, what I need. I feel like it's sufficient and it's nice just to, like, it's small and compatible, so those are great too. And if you don't know what a fuel rod is, it charges your device, but you can also go to, like, different areas and, like, exchange them. So if it's, like, out of, out of juice, <laughs> you can put them in these, like, little vendor things and it'll pop out a new one that's fully charged, so that's really cool cool and they usually have them around the parks i know we do disneyland a lot and they were everywhere around there so it's really cool and side note make sure that you have all the right cords for all the things that you need to charge and speaking of magic bands uh we're going to be carrying our magic band i have the magic band plus i'm excited about the haptic feedback uh and seeing like the fireworks and all that kind of stuff with like, the colors and all mm -hmm. the jazz but yeah this is all you have three you have the charges now so again like having those batteries is important mm -hmm. So another thing we like to bring is air tags. This is super nice and you can use them for so many ways. Um, I have a little cute little Mickey holder for mine that I can put on my backpack. So if I leave it behind, it'll notify me or if I lose it, I can track it. We also have like little watch bands we use for our kids and we can put air tags on that so we can track them as well. And gotta have that sunscreen. Mm -hmm. That's it, <laughs> sunscreen, lotion up. Ponchos especially in Florida. You never know when that rain's gonna come and go. It happens really fast, but it's nice to have it on hand when it does come. And you gotta have your sunnies. I say this because it's mainly for me. I forget my sunglasses probably like majority of our trips. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's like, it just doesn't come with us. I'm yeah. always buying new sunglasses when we're traveling. Right. And I think bring two, I'm actually, I'm talking to myself, I'm gonna pack two this time. Yeah. Because it's just like, so am I. you know what I mean? It's like, you never know. Oh, 100% I know what you mean. a cheap pair for $10 somewhere, but they, you know, look cute. So I would bring two pairs of sunglasses. I'm gonna bring three. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do you one better. <laughs> I'm gonna bring no, four. No, but I was, I seriously think about three because I have my, like, my nice Ray-Bans that I'll probably bring. Yeah. And then I have two cheapies. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Just keep those hands clean. It's really easy to get the spray kind before we eat. I'm like, everybody have your hands out. Yeah, she'll, no, she'll just go hands, hands. <laughs> we're all like, uh, and then, yeah. Well, you're touching spray. railings and oh, rides totally. and all that stuff, so at least trying to- Get your hands in. Get those clean. And for us, having some wet wipes is very important because mm -hmm. we have kids and you know, they're enjoying that, that ice cream, but then all of a sudden you look at them and there is ice cream all over their face and so grab the wet wipes out and they're good to go also reusable straws now i don't like reusable straws lacy you don't i mean it's not like you like them i just don't like paper tolerate. straws right that's the thing yeah we don't like paper straws mm -hmm. uh so if you need to have a straw i will just drink it with the cup mm -hmm. but if you need to have some kind of straw and you hate paper straws which i get kid reusable straw <laughs> and it will make it not much better. <laughs> Chapstick, I feel like is a must when you're outside in the sun. It just feels like, you know, on top of it with the sunscreen, it just makes your day a little bit better to keep their- Whenever if someone says chapstick, my my lips all of a sudden are chapped. chapped. <laughs> like, I'm just like, where's my chapstick? Like, you know what I mean? Right. Gosh, it's like when someone yawns, same thing. Right. Snacks, as much as we like to buy the snacks in the park, it's always nice to have a little thing. And we do love buying the snacks in the <laughs> we park, do. I'm tell you. <laughs> but just having a few things on hand, you know, bring some granola bars from home or trail mix so you're not like spending so much on it. And just like in those times while you're waiting in line, you just need like a little something or the kids do. 
so you don't get like to that hangry point. Nobody likes to get there. <laughs> so we always like to bring a little bit of snacks. Next up is a wallet. Now we don't keep cash in our wallet in the parks. We do travel with cash for tips and stuff, but in the parks it's just mainly our cards. Mm -hmm. But also it seems like when we go to Disney for whatever reason, we tend to have a lot of gift cards. Mm -hmm. It's probably because all the grandparents give mm -hmm. the kids gift cards, and so it's just nice yeah. to have a vessel for all of those. Mm -hmm. And a portable fan, especially for Florida. Mm -hmm. I remember we went years ago, and we went right in the summer, and we were, oh my gosh, we were dying. Mm -hmm. And we actually bought the portable fan there, which is like ridiculously expensive. The Mr. One. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, hey, buy one on Amazon, it's a lot yeah. cheaper, and you will thank us later. <laughs> and lastly, an autograph book. So I'll keep this in my bag for the kids. You know, it's always fun to get their autographs when they see the different characters and keep a pen in there. So that is super fun. I know it's something we both did as kids. Mm -hmm. So it is always fun to see our kids doing it as well. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we hope you enjoyed our Disney park back 2024 we are headed to walt disney world and also a disney cruise not in that order reverse uh coming up in just uh man a week or so yeah. at this time of filming mm -hmm. so if you want to follow us and see all these vlogs be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we have more videos mm -hmm. but we will see you guys in the next one Bye. Bye.